Hello everyone, my name is Blackwatch and welcome to the first episode of my How To Play series. It seemed fitting that my most played operator of over 80 hours would be the first one that I would pick for this particular series, and that's Doc, my main man, Gustav Kateb. So he is my favourite operator bar none. I picked him first when I was picking out my operators to begin with, and I've enjoyed him ever since. He's got a great kit, good fun gadget, let's find out how to play him. So Doc is a defender of the GIGN CTU. He is partnered with his good mate Rook, who is essentially him, but without the active gadget. His gadget is much more passive than Doc's is. He has three primary weapons, the P90 SMG, the MP5 SMG, and the SG CQB shotgun. Quite a lot. Now the MP5 and the SG are definitely the two that I would recommend out of the three. The P90 is definitely serviceable, but when you've got that MP5 in your pocket with the extra damage and the pretty good accuracy, it just makes sense. The P90 is a much more unwieldy weapon, and for that unwieldiness you don't really get the damage that would make up for it. Though it does have an impressive rate of fire. And with the SG CQB, it's arguably the best pump action shotgun in the game. I would say that it is. It has access to a foregrip, it's got a very tight pellet spread, and it deals a lot of damage per shot. So it's definitely one that if you like the shotgun playstyle, it would be worth bringing along with you because you'll probably enjoy it. Now in terms of secondaries, he has access to two, it's the P9 pistol which is fine. Again it's a low damage, high magazine pistol that I don't particularly enjoy but it gets the job done. And the other option which I would recommend is his LFP revolver. It is a six shot revolver and it deals a lot of damage, generally speaking around about three shots to kill an operator. Obviously you've got to be accurate with those shots but it hits pretty hard and it's good for things like taking out shield operators where you might only have one leg or one shoulder exposed so one of those shots deals a lot more damage and generally if I'm taking on a shield op I'll whip out the revolver and try and take them out that way. His gadget which you're seeing showcased here is the stim pistol. He uses this to heal himself and heal his teammates. So if a teammate is in a down but not out state or yourself is in a down but not out state you can use the Stim Pistol to shoot them and it will revive them with 75 HP and it will give you some points as well. Use it on yourself, the exact same effect happens and any Rook armor that you picked up beforehand is no longer equipped. It's taken off after the revive as it is with a regular manual revive but you can re-equip the Rook armor afterwards and that's something you should take into consideration when you get revived on the defending team. You can then pick up another set of armor. Now the gadget with a normal stim shot can be used to give someone 40 HP as a boost. So if the heal goes beyond the 100 HP threshold, which is the max health for an operator in normal circumstances, it will then overheal to whatever the remainder is. If you're already at that 100 health, it will give you a 40 HP overheal that degrades over time. So you won't remain at that health for too long, but it is good for some situations. If you know you've got to run into a place and you're going to be taking fire, Maybe give yourself a little boost before you do that. Now Doc's main thing is to think about your situation. It takes a lot of situational awareness and a lot of map awareness to play Doc effectively. Unlike Rook, who I'd recommend as one of the early starters for players in Rainbow Six Siege, his device takes a bit more work and knowledge to actually get some effectiveness out of it. With the armor, you just slap it down, they pick up the rhino plates, job's done. With the pistol, you've got to know who to revive, when to revive, who to stim, when to stim, all this kind of stuff. It's important and it will make the difference between winning rounds and losing rounds. It only has three shots in the stim pistol and it's quite slow to reload. So please, if you don't have a clean shot or if your target's moving a lot, try and tell them to stay still and do not waste that shot. If you're going to miss them, don't fire. Don't waste it. It's far too important to just throw away for absolutely nothing. The other thing is to know when to actually use it. So at the top left hand side of the screen you'll see the operator icons and you'll see their health bars underneath it. You gotta wait until the health bar is slightly over half before you want to use that stim shot because it's not worth using it on someone who's got something like 70 HP because you're wasting 10 they can survive for a little longer without it and there's going to be more important situations where you'll think damn I wish I hadn't wasted that stim shot on someone who really didn't need it. So keep it, preserve it, only use it when it's really necessary 
and think, is keeping this guy alive even worth it? Now, I know that's a bit harsh. This only really applies to casual, generally. But if there's a player who's been lighting up the heather and he's taken quite a lot of damage in his last firefight, by all means, give him a stim, because you're putting him in a situation where hopefully he'll survive for a little bit longer and maybe continue to do what he's already been doing. But if he's in a situation where he's taking a lot of damage and he's not really contributing much, it might be worth just leaving him to take a hit again, or at the very least, only give him a single stim to appease him if it's in casual. In ranked, obviously, this doesn't tend to apply quite as much because you'll have your own pre-made team. But just consider this anyway. It's something that's quite important about the healing factor. Players like Jaegers will take quite a lot of damage a lot of the time, so it is worth using it on them, even if you do feel it's a bit scummy giving the Jaeger main some more health. But if it keeps them alive and he gets more kills, well, it's probably worth the trade. In terms of using it on yourself, you see me doing it plenty here, but sometimes it really is worth just stimming yourself to keep yourself alive. Because there'll be situations where you have the better position out of any other player in your game, and it's worth just giving yourself that little boost so you can get through it some more. Now, this clip is an example of how having the Stim Pistol can save your life, but it's also an example of what a regular revive would be in the situation you should use it in. So, giving him the Stim here, when Doxy goes down, it's a perfect situation to use the Stim Pistol. You can't safely run up to that door and be able to revive her without taking damage, so instead, whip out the pistol, thunk, and we're done. She's back up, and I've been downed. Now, you saw there, when you fire the shot, it will instantly reload if you have to down or if you're downed and you have to revive yourself there'll be an instant reload and you can use it straight away but that was an example of where you would use the stim reload or the stim shot for a revive other situations are if someone's been downed and they're near you in a safe position pick them up manually and then stim them to give them 90 health rather than 75 it's worth it in that situation and you should definitely go for it so these are just a few baseline tips on playing dock I'm going to go into a little bit more detail and cover some more advanced strategies in the next video, which is how to master Doc. I'm not sure exactly when this one's going to be up, but hopefully not too long. I'll also have a how to fix video going up for Blackbeard, who's one of the more controversial characters on the list of how to fix people. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to leave some feedback in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys.